So first off, can I just say, I really, really, really wanted to have good things to say about this game. it's Mel here and welcome back once again to my channel. This week we're diving into my first quickie review of Leisure Suit Larry Wet Dreams Don't Dry on the Nintendo Switch and I'm going to try and give you guys a well-balanced, fair, thought-out review in a short space of time. But before we dive into the review, if you could give this video a thumbs up, it helps me out if you guys like this kind of thing. I do plan on doing more reviews of games and books, things like that. Let me know if you want that by giving this video a thumbs up and if you haven't already, if you could hit that subscribe button and subscribe to the channel. I upload quite frequently at the minute so, so you don't miss out on anything hit that subscribe button and if you want to give this video a share to help somebody not waste their money on this game with that being said let's dive into the review so i'm not gonna lie i was super super excited whenever i heard that literature larry was coming to the switch i haven't played any of this series in a really long time just briefly if you i don't know how long some of you guys have been following me for but if any of you remember i briefly had a let's play channel called melly bean games where i played like retro games that i played from my childhood like i played the original sierra legends at larry games i think it came out in the late 80s back whenever i was a kid i used to like love those games sierra also published like king's quest space quest a lot of those really popular like retro games so whenever i started that channel one of the first let's plays that i ever did was the original legends at larry games which they are so fun, like those games are just funny, smutty, but in like a hilarious way. And if you haven't heard of the Legends of Larry series, it follows this guy, Larry Laffer, who is just this dorky, sleazy guy who is just continually trying to get laid. But honestly, like the games are so much fun. They're so funny. There's all these like weird things that happen along the way and puzzles and predicaments that you have to solve. So I loved those games and I was really, really looking forward to this new one. And honestly, like I am so, so disappointed by this. So this is gonna be a non-spoiler review. Like I don't intend on spoiling this game for anyone, but honestly, like it just wasn't great. It didn't have the fun that those original games seemed to have. This Leisure Sit Larry, Wet Dreams Don't Dry, is basically a point and click adventure. Kind of the same character from the late 80s, early 90s, brought through to today, trying to stumble through Tinder, but it's called like Timber, like they all have different names. And yeah, it's about online dating. And he's basically trying to rack up enough points on Timber to date this woman that he has fallen for, that works for Pyphone, um, I think it's called in the game. And then there's this whole subplot about Pyphone and all that kind of stuff. So I basically didn't think the plot was anything overly interesting or exciting. The gameplay was so poor like honestly there's five I think about five places you can visit in the game and honestly like the puzzles are so easy to solve that you don't really have to work anything out you just go to one place back to another place to one place back to another place and it is so dull like once you visit these places there's only like a couple of screens there's nothing really that interesting. And like, like I said, like I love the old games. It seems like there's more in these old games than there is in this one, which is a bit ridiculous. Honestly, it seems like there's more plot, there's more gameplay, there's more difficulty, there's more puzzle in those older games than there is in this one. And let's just talk about this for a second. So this game is a Peggy 18, right? It's Leisure Suit Larry. If you don't remember back in the day, you had to kind of like answer these questions where you got the woman to open her blind and you can see your little pixelate boobies. You do not see one set of boobies in this. Well, I tell a lie. I think there was a gargoyle that I see in her boobies. That's it. This is a game where you're actively online dating, trying to get laid. And I can think of games off the top of my head where you see more action than in this. Mass Effect, Witcher 3, GTA, like just to name a few. Like, and there, those games aren't even about that. It is really very, very tame in the scenes where he does hook up with girls. There's nothing really happens. I mean, the 18 rating is probably just because of the the text and maybe because there's some cartoon sex toys but really apart from that it is a very very tame game which is disappointing because you know it was so funny back in the day like trying to see those pixelated boobies and in this one you don't even get any boobies at all which sucks this game honestly really really felt like do you know those games that you see advertised before YouTube videos and on Facebook and stuff? And I think it's called like Episode or something. And it's just these little characters that are like this and speech bubbles come up. Honestly, it felt like a free, cheap iPhone game rather than a genuine part of the Leisure Suit Larry series that you can get your teeth into. This game has absolutely no consequence at all. For example, like in the old Legends of Larry's, if you didn't lift the ring off the sink and you made it to a certain point in the game, then that was just it. You had to start the whole thing over and there was 
consequence to it. This one, there is no consequence at all. Like if you make a mistake, you just pop up back in the same place. And yeah, there's not really much that you can miss. It's all kind of part of the plot. I thought the puzzles were rubbish in comparison with the older games. The only real redeeming factor I can think of for this game is it is quite fun if you are someone who played the original Legends of Larry games. I just don't, I fail to see what enjoyment you get out of it if you hadn't played the original series because there's a lot of in jokes like they have the questions at the start of the game to get into it to make sure that you're old enough. They have the joke about the girl who lived like upstairs in the bar about people coming saying Ken sent me you know there's a couple little throwbacks there's a little part of the game where you go back to old pixelated Larry and play a little scene out so I mean the only redeeming factor I can see in it is that there are some throwbacks to the original games which were actually decent. Honestly, this game felt like a cheap iPhone game for me. It did not feel like a game that was worth what I paid for it, which it's retailing for $34.99. And to be honest, I just think that's utterly ridiculous. I know it uh, came out in Steam at the end of last year. It's probably cheaper on there. I wouldn't pay more than maybe $14.99 at a push for this. So I think it's ridiculous what they charged for it, considering how short it is, considering how easy it is, considering that it's just not overall a great game. I would rate this game probably two out of five stars and that's just being generous. That's just because I like the little throwbacks and the little parts that made me reminisce about the old games. But apart from that, it was just a poor game overall, poor gameplay, poor dialogue, poor storyline. And I am highly, highly disappointed because I love the series. If you really want to play Leisure Suit Larry and sink your teeth into it, you're so much better just getting an emulator and going back and playing those original Sierra releases, how they were meant to be and enjoying it that way. So I apologize that I don't really have anything nice to say about this game, but I'm just being honest. In my opinion, it is 100% not worth the money. So let me know if you've played this, what you thought of it. I mean, this is obviously only my opinion, but it would be interesting to get other people's opinions. Did you play the original Legends of Larry games? And let me know if you guys want to see more of this kind of content from my channel. I do plan on doing a lot more. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and share this video, and I'll see you guys on the next upload. Bye. I'll raise a glass to you, and you'll raise a glass to me, and when they're happy.